क्लास फाइव एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट वन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दैम सो नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज स्प्रेड सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस डिजीज स्प्रेड्स थ्रू एयर वॉटर फूड इंसेक्स एंड थ्रू कॉन्टैक्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस ऑल डिजीजेज विच स्प्रेड्स थ्रू ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट इन डिटेल so first let's see how the spread of disease comes through the air now the germs of a disease like influenza are present in the spit or saliva of the person who has the disease when he coughs spits or sneezes they enter the air with the tiny droplets of saliva or spit when other people breathe it in that same air the germs enter their body diseases of the throat and the chest spreads through air for example tuberculosis swine flu etc that is why we are told to cover our nose and mouth when we cough or sneeze so students one thing you all have to keep in mind before sneezing or coughing we should take care we should see that no one is there beside us so the germs are spread due to the influenza which spreads in spit or saliva have you all seen people spitting on the road side path yes it is very dangerous for us because there are lot of germs in the spit therefore that germs get scattered here and there and we have been get it affected and also when we cough spits or sneezes the ent- they enter the air with the tiny droplets or saliva or spits therefore when other people breathe in the same air the germs enter their body and they have been getting affected as usually okay so this diseases of the throat and the chest also spreads through air for example tuberculosis swine flu these are the diseases which spreads through the air and the di- name of this disease is are also me may- i'll tell you all some of the names of which spreads in air such as flu fever tuberculosis swine flu common cold and cough which spreads through the air so these are the various names of the diseases now what are the preventive measures the preventive measures for the disease which spread in air is covering the nose while coughing or sneezing so this is a main point which you all have to keep in your mind while coughing and sneezing now second spread of diseases through water now students lot of diseases as are also spread through the water the germs of the diseases of the insects like typhoid cholera diarrhea as also of jaundice are present in the feces of the affected person if the feces get mixed with water the germs and it also enters the water if other people drink same water which has been contaminated by this germs they enter his intestines too and the person can get the disease to prevent the spread of diseases in this manner it is best to avoid washing clothes and bathing in the water sources or defecting on the banks of the river etc now students nowadays it's very safe because earlier the people they have to wash their clothes they have to take their bath also they have to take the water for the household from the bank of the river okay as you all can see oh, your picture okay see how the people uh some ladies are washing their clothes some are washing the animals one uh, man he is taking water to uh, his home okay so by this the water gets contaminated and from the same procedure the disease various diseases can be uh, enter and affect the people so we should take care that the water must not be contaminated and also various diseases also can be occurred due to this polluted water what are the diseases can be uh, there that is 
typhoid cholera diarrhea and also jaundice so these are the various diseases which can be occurred due to the polluted water so, so you should take care that not to use contaminated water and also save the water not to waste the water and what are the preventive measures for the spreads of the disease through water not to drink contaminated water okay drink safe that is filtered water no bathing in or near water source not to defective near water sources means you sure, means you should not take bath on the water resources that is on the bank of the river take care that your health is must and stay away from all this diseases okay that is typhoid cholera diarrhea and jaundice so this is what we have seen how the diseases spreads through air and water thank you